names from movie history, Marlena Dietrich is synonymous with glamour and the kind of aura that surrounded some stars back in Hollywood's golden age. If you've never been exposed to Dietrich at the height of her fame, you've missed something very special. She wasn't like anybody else in films before or since. Marlena Dietrich was not your typical sex symbol, and this famous number from 1932's Blonde Venus shows you why. She was audacious, unique, and she seemed to be loving every minute of it. Her Hollywood screen persona was daring, outrageous. She smoked. She wore pants, as in this scene from Morocco, and the characters she portrayed did exactly as they pleased, even if they shocked some people. Dietrich was also a style setter. Her pencil-thin eyebrows became a vogue, and her canny use of makeup turned her unconventional looks into one of the most famous faces of the century. It was a different-looking Marlena who was cast in the German film The Blue Angel in 1930 as the temptress Lola Lola, who brings a stuffy professor, played by Emil Jannings, to his knees. But American director Joseph von Sternberg knew she had something special. He was so sure of her and the film's universal appeal that he also shot another version of it in English. Sure enough, Dietrich was a sensation, and von Sternberg brought her back to Hollywood, where as her director, lover, and some said Svengali, he made a series of exquisite-looking exotic films in which the camera made love to her, and the actress became a legend. What right have you to tell me what to do? Are you my father? No! Are you my husband? No! Are you my... Well, I must say you are content with very little. But by the mid-30s, she and Sternberg were no longer working together, and Dietrich's style was falling out of favor. She was even labeled box office poison. That's when she revitalized her career by getting down and dirty in the Western comedy, Destry Rides Again. Just see what the boys in the back room will have And tell them I saw then came World War II, and German-born Dietrich became a tireless worker for the Allied cause and a favorite performer on the front lines in Europe. I'm certain that we can look forward to a speedy victory. Goodbye, good luck, Godspeed. In the 1950s, she launched another phase of her career as a nightclub entertainer. Billed as the world's most glamorous grandmother, she became a star all over again. There were occasional movie roles, such as her critically acclaimed dual performance in 1957's Witness for the Prosecution. I'll give you something to dream about, mister. Wanna kiss me, Ducky? But as the years went on, Dietrich retreated from the limelight to the seclusion of her Paris apartment. Now she's gone, but the mystique she built up more than 60 years ago remains. Nothing quite like Marlena Dietrich's ever happened since. And if you haven't seen those films, I recommend them to you. They're really very special, as was she. Great Thank tribute. You. Thanks, Hunter. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.